Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, we have spoken so much about the sewage treatment plant. Now, had these plants not been there, do you have any idea that how much of harm the sewage can do to the aquatic life? Now, if you do not treat the sewage before disposing it off into water bodies. Let's say you directly take the sewage, the waste water and directly put it into the river. So do you think, do you know what can happen to the aquatic life? There are so many plants, animals, fishes, insects living inside the water. So their life get completely spoiled. So if you sewage, if the sewage is discharged directly into the water bodies, the microbes cause biodegradation of organic matter because the sewage contains a lot of organic impurities and the microorganisms which are present in the water they all will start eating up that organic matter right now for these microbes to eat up the organic matter what do they need they need oxygen because aerobic microbes do this biodegradation of organic matter so they will utilize all the oxygen which is present in dissolved form in the water now since all the oxygen will be used up by the microbes, what will be left for the aquatic plants and animals? Because the aquatic animals also need oxygen. The fishes also cannot survive without oxygen. So gradually, lack of oxygen will start killing the aquatic life. So this is a very big threat to the aquatic life and therefore uh, care should always be taken that sewage should never be, never ever be directly disposed into water bodies. They should first be sent to the sewage treatment plant where the more toxic materials are converted into less toxic materials. In fact, the water which contains so much of toxicity that get converted into a comparatively cleaner water and then it is disposed of into the water bodies. So we saw that how we have nicely utilized the wastewater by treating it in the sewage treatment plants. Now we can also do a couple of things from our end in order to manage wastewater in a better way. Now some of the things which we can do being good citizens are uh, that we should ensure that the drains in the localities are covered. Now have you ever seen open drains? So in open drains, you can actually see that dirty water flowing in front of your eyes. Now, when you see this, it is obviously a disgusting sight. At the same time, it also gives a very, very bad smell. Now, when the drains are opened, it also uh, breeds a lot of insects, mosquitoes, and they in turn cause a lot of diseases. So there are so many disadvantages if the drains are opened. So we should ensure that the drains are covered do not throw solid wastes in sink. Now, whenever you are either washing utensils in the sink or you are cleaning your hands, you are cleaning your face, whatever you are doing, please ensure that you do not leave or you do not throw any solid particles. For example, tea leaves or uh, tiny pieces of vegetables or fruits that should not be left here. Because what happens when you add on to these solid particles, what you are actually doing is you are increasing the workload at the wastewater treatment plant. Because we saw that that in the sewage treatment plant the first few steps are about physical removal of solid particles so from our end we can put less solid here because the moment you put something solid in the sink that actually goes to the sewage treatment plant so unless and sometimes many a times if we put some uh, solid materials those solid wastes can also block the pipes and that ways it can uh, affect the smooth movement of the wastewater through the pipes so it can choke the drains so we should ensure that solid wastes are not thrown into the sink do not throw oil in the sink because oil can also block the pipes and once the pipes are blocked, so it, it is going to cause problem in the entire sewerage. It is going to cause problem in the transportation of the sewage to the sewage treatment plant. So that is one disadvantage. So one thing is it can block the pipes. The second disadvantage is that it can also block the soil pores. That means the soil pores, soil is porous in nature, soil particles, they have pores in them, correct? Now, these oil, they will fill those pores, they will fill those spaces between the soil particles. And then what happens? It will not allow water to pass through because it has already filled the spaces between the particles. So now water is not allowed to go. So basically it will reduce the effective filtering of water through the soil. And that is a very big disadvantage. 
so therefore uh, oil should not be thrown into the sink do not throw chemicals pesticides and medicines in the sink because all of these contain a lot of chemicals and these chemicals might be toxic and therefore they can kill microorganisms which help in cleaning water because we saw that aerobic microbes help in uh, removing the organic impurities in waste water so now if uh, we already put some chemicals which are going to kill the microorganisms in that case what will happen we will not have any other option to clear the organic impurities from water so therefore need, take care should be taken that we do not put chemicals pesticides and medicines into the sink so we should always ensure that all the solid waste should be thrown into the dustbin and only the liquid wastes should go through the sink so that our uh, sewage treatment plant can perform better the load on the sewage treatment plant is also less thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again